This is the future. Welcome back to my channel, final Cryptonians. And as you can see, there is our problem. That's why the head was stuck. There's a bolt hidden inside the casing, underneath the timing belt. I got a friend in to come and just you know, help me out and then we noticed there's a bolt underneath it when we removed the timing chain gear that was still on there. So in future, for future reference, remember if your head is stuck, check there's a bolt hidden inside the bloody casing at last guys <coughs> I got the head off you can see where the water made damage on the engine where the gasket was leaking water now all that remains is do a proper cleaning I'm gonna do a proper cleaning and make sure that the block isn't warped we're gonna um, see if we can take out the, um, the injector we're going to clean this head and we're going to take it into engineering shop to get skinned and then we just need to get a new gasket and now finally we can probably start to clean everything and to replace and repair at last hey guys so like I said finally it is out we can finally start cleaning the head and um, yeah there's a lot of cleaning to do and uh, the thing is talk about a, a steep learning curve I never noticed that bolt inside and uh, there was also no indication of this bolt on the um, on the diagrams the mechanics didn't even tell me about that bolt if we didn't move the timing chain one side I would never have seen that bolt and we were hitting this thing and basically damaging this thing and we are so lucky that we didn't break that bolt off because the only ones that you were thinking would be there is the outside ones uh, nothing to do with the inside so I'm just glad that we were able to to find that bolt and get it loose so actually the stripping or the removing of the head was not so difficult but yeah it's the first time we're doing this so things like this are bound to slip up and bound to happen so I'm just glad that we were able to sort this out so what I need to tell you guys now today is we're going to take these rockers out we're gonna put them somewhere else before we start cleaning them now do not under any circumstance mix them up put them exactly in the order that you take them out the hydraulic lifters put them exactly in the order that you take them out once it's cleaned and the head comes back we have to put them back exactly in the same places where we found them because most of the time if you have shims or if you have anything like this they've been um, how can I say they are specifically made for that place if you mix them up you can take this engine and throw it in the dustbin make sure that your stuff is exactly back where you took it from I'm not going to remove the valves if the engineering guys want to remove them and reseat them it's fine but it doesn't seem like it's necessary then we'll just check and we'll check ourselves if it's warped if it's not warped then I don't even think I'm gonna take it for skimming we've got the one bolt that broke off here that needs to be removed and we've got the threads that stripped out here it basically needs to be re-threaded that's all so if I'm gonna take it to the engineers then they can do that for me so today getting this injector out I was uh, told or suggested 
to put some brake fluid on this area where the carbon has clearly seized it up. I'm going to turn the head around. I'm going to put some brake fluid down the tip to get that carbon loose. And we're going to leave it sitting there until tomorrow. And then we're going to take a, a water pump plier, put it up there, and we're going to move it until we can get this thing out. Okay, but for now, let's remove the hydraulic lifters and the rocker. To make sure I don't screw this up, I've placed a rag inside this container and I have marked this container the same way that you see the head here I've marked the container manifold air intake back and front so when I pack these out I'm gonna pack them exactly in sequence so we know exactly how to put this container down and how to pack everything back in its place after cleaning so now all of the ones that I took out on this bank has been placed in its order in the container. I'm going to do the same now with the other side. Here we go guys. All the hydraulic lifters and rockers are out. And in sequence, exactly the way they should go back into the head. I'm just going to close this up and put it in the car so the kids don't come and play with it. That'll be a disaster. And next up, let's proceed to remove the glow plugs. I've got this uh, tube socket set. I'm going to put the tube socket on and then we're going to take them out. I cannot believe that these tube sockets are so soft that it bends like this. Really? Can this um, glow plugs be so stiff that the amount of pressure needed to loosen them is too much for this tool to handle? I mean, I'm, I'm getting them loose, but look at how this tool is bending. Really? Okay, now guys, coming to the engine head. The way I'm cleaning it, I'm using a paraffin brush and scotch guard to clean the, the head. Okay guys, while we have it like this, as you can see the injector is out, but it's a good bad news situation. The only way I got the injector out was to split the injector. That means the needle and seat, everything is in my car, and the, you won't be able to see it now, but the bottom part of the injector itself is still stuck inside the cylinder. So the bottom part of the injector is still in there. The rest of the injector I got out. Um, so I don't know if the engineers will be able to, to get it out for me. We'll have to wait and see. Um, and then neither the glow plugs. This glow plug, I can't get it out. It actually um, broke the tube socket. This side, I got it split also. The bottom part is still stuck inside the the block so I'm gonna let the engineer at the engineering shop sort that shit out let me see what they can do for me okay guys there's our head nice and clean it's been washed uh, we got all the oil and stuff out so tomorrow I'm gonna take it to the engineers and see what they can do so I got this one glow plug out that was on this side the tip was bent like this, so I am definitely have to buy a new glow plug there. If I can get a set of four, I'm gonna buy a set of four. That one is still obviously stuck where it is. Can't get that one out. I put the injector back and I tightened it with the hope of um, breaking the whole thing loose. Because as you know now, the bottom part is still stuck inside. But it's not budging, it's not moving. So I'm gonna leave it like this for the engineers to give them a chance to remove the entire injector. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know what they're gonna do. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up, because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there's now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group, 
We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done also. Don't forget to go to my website at www.cryptzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcasts if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be taken straight to the anchor podcast page where i do my podcast and remember when you go to my youtube page there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel Um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email and on my youtube front page there is now a paypal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.